Hare Krishna. The size of our problems is inversely proportional to the size of our purpose. The bigger our purpose, the smaller our problems become. Suppose a truck is moving fast on a road where a tree has fallen across the road. If the truck has sufficient momentum, it can just knock the tree aside and move on. But if there is a bicycle moving gently, then it will be blocked by the tree. So, similarly during our life journey, we often face obstacles which are like trees fallen on the road of our life. Now, when we face such problems, how do we respond to them? Sometimes when we interact with people, they keep going on and on talking about things that we feel are small and we wonder why are they making such a big, why are they making such a big fuss about such small things? Or they, they have some grudges against someone, some issues uh, and just, they just can't let go, they don't, don't forgive and keep moving on. So, what do we do? Actually, if to get out of ourselves, we need get out of our small problems. We need a purpose bigger than ourselves, bigger, uh, uh, as big as possible. So, this means, so the obstacles, it's mysterious that the size of the obstacles, size of the problems is not static and is not universal. The same problem may be seen as small by some people and huge by others. Why this difference? It depends on what other things, uh, what is the backdrop of their life? Uh, what is the overall perspective that they have that is shaped by their purpose? So, the bigger our purpose, suppose somebody is their goal of life is to the, the central enjoyment of life is watching movies and then the electric power goes off and they feel oh I can't watch a movie and they may even uh, smash the TV set in that in that uh, uh, because of that now if somebody has some bigger purpose in life say they are working to feed hungry people or to uh, to treat those who are desperately sick then uh, not being able to watch a movie might not matter much to them at all. So similarly, the, if we understand that we are working for a purpose bigger than ourselves, then problems become smaller. The Bhagavad Gita says that Machitta Sarva Durgani Mat Prasada Tarishasi Atachetva Mahankaran Nashroshasi In 1858 it states that if you become conscious of me, you will pass over all obstacles by my grace. The Gita reveals that every one of us is a soul who is a part of God. And by God's arrangement, each of us is meant to make some significant worthwhile contribution externally and develop spiritually to go toward our spiritual evolution to attain life eternal. So God himself is with us and if we cultivate a service attitude toward him by becoming conscious of him, by making him our life's purpose, then everything uh, will gradually fall in place. So he is bigger than the biggest problems that we face and when our vision becomes fixed on him, on his service and we understand that we, are, we as spiritual beings have survived many, many problems in this and previous lives. Then we can persevere uh, across multiple lifetimes and ultimately attain, uh, the, uh, attain, our life, attain our life's destination. So the bigger our, the bigger our purpose, uh, the smaller become our problems. And thus, rather than resenting about how big our problems are, or resenting or lamenting about how big our problems are, we can focus on cultivating a big enough purpose that will make those problems bearable. Thank you. Hare Krishna.